This will be a short how-to video on how to use the uh, butane burning knife. We'll be using a flat burn-in sticks and also using our burn-in lube. The tools required also include a soft cloth. The first thing I want to do is make sure that I don't have any splinters sticking up. If I do, I'm going to come in and trim these away with a razor knife because I want to make sure that it's perfectly level. I'm going to go ahead and light the butane knife, but before I do, I want to caution you on using this in a volatile environment. This should never be used in or around a spray booth or in an area where there's a lot of dust in the air. Um, this is an open flame. The flames actually come out of the ports here. Um, so it is like having an open flame tool. And so we have to use extreme caution in the environment that we're using this in. So there's a little slide switch here. I'm gonna slide it over to get the butane coming out. I'll strike uh, the striker cap there to get it lit. You can see a blue flame coming out and then the blue flame goes to an orange glow. Once it does that, I'm gonna slide the control back to about one third. That should provide plenty of heat for the operation that we're gonna do. I have a couple of colors here I'm gonna intermix together. Once this heats up, it takes three or four minutes for it to heat. We're gonna intermix these two colors to try to hit the background color that we have on our piece here. So once that begins to heat, I'll melt the material. When I'm using two different sticks to kind of blend, I'll hold them right next to each other and just melt them together and get the color adjusted. I'm gonna put a little bit of material on the end of the knife and drip it into the defect. Just let it run off the tip of the knife down into the defect. I wanna make sure I don't get any bubbles uh, in the material. Once I have that filled, it's gonna cool pretty rapidly and it should be slightly above the surface. I'll clean my tip of my blade off so I don't have that material just sitting there cooking on the tip. I'm gonna take my burn-in lube and put around the defect. The burn-in lube keeps us from burning the surface and also allows me to pick up the excess material. I like to go across the grain with a motion like an airplane coming in for a touch and go landing. Lay it on the surface, let it touch it, and then transfer the material to the rag immediately. We should be able to get a perfectly level repair just with the heat of the knife. Now that feels real good, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my knife blade, turn off my knife, and prop it up out of the way, making sure it's not up against anything that it could damage. Next thing I'll do is take a small piece of 400 grit sandpaper and lightly sand that area. It doesn't take much sanding to get it perfectly level. We'll wipe away all of the excess material, excess burn-in lube. I'm gonna take one of our felt markers, lightly touch the area and blend it immediately with my finger. And oftentimes that's all that's necessary to finish up a burn in. Now, <clears throat> if I do wanna put a clear coat over this, I can use any of our clear coats, but I wanna put on light misting coats, never heavy wet coats. So that's the basic butane burn in. Now the butane torch, I wanna to emphasize again, we use this only in a um, non a spray environment, a non-spray booth area where no finishing is taking place so we don't have to worry about fumes. Um, and then also we have to worry about dust because this is an open flame. So we just need to be very cautious with it. And that concludes the video.